Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rayanne, if you are new, and today I am going to be doing my first of a few Valentine's Day look. I am in collaboration today with a very good friend of mine that I have made on YouTube. Her name is Brittany Ray. She is absolutely awesome. She does amazing work on her makeup. She is so sweet. I love her personality. It's so bubbly and she is just awesome. Please check out her video because she will do, be doing a Valentine's Day look as well. Totally different from what I'm doing. So I will leave her channel and video in the links down below. Also, you can find it up here as well here or here I don't know which one but you can find it there as well and yeah she is just very awesome and I know she's gonna come up with a freaking gorgeous look so yeah let's if you would like to see how I got this look which is a total purpley pinky vibes I was sick of the whole red and just pink Valentine's so I'm gonna give it I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw purple in so that's what I did with this look it's one of my favorite looks to wear it complements my skin tone if you have skin tone like mine hair color eye color it will go perfect and you will love it so yeah if you would like to see how I got this look then just keep watching okay so we're gonna start this look off using the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk eyeshadow palette and you are going to use this palette and this palette only for the entire look, so that is good. You're going to start off with the shade Desert Sand, which is this shade right here. And you're just going to use it as a bone shade to put all over your lid, so we'll start off with that. And I did already do my eyebrows, and I put concealer all over my eyelid as well to prep my eyes. We are going to start with this shade right here, Eden. It's like a pinkish shade. And we are going to go into the crease. I really love this crease shade color. It's just like a, it gives me peachy vibes. Now I am going to take this shade Amethyst, which is this purple matte shade. It's kind of like a semi matte. If you look at it, it has a slight shimmer. But we are also going to add that into the crease more. More lower than the Eden shade. What I like about this shade is it's very buildable. Like you can make it an intense purple if you keep building upon it. Or you can keep it light like how it looks. Like it's just very light purple. And I like that. So we pretty much got the crease shade. You know, I kind of want to make the purple more intense. So I'm going to take more of like a flatter blending brush, a little bit flat, and go in with the same color amethyst and kind of go directly into the crease just so I can deepen that crease up with the actual purple more. Okay, now I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to go into this shade right here, this purple shimmer metallic shade, Royal. That's what I call it. And we are going to put that all over our eye. We are going to wet our brush. And I'm going to use my Mario Badesco spray, you know. And I just kind of go all over the lid. I'm kind of messy over here because we're going to use a darker shade for the outer corner. But I pretty much put it everywhere. I'm going to go back in with the blending shade. I'm just going to go in with a different blending brush. And I'm going to take that shade even, and I'm kind of going to blend this. So now we are going to go into the topper shade. We are going to use Twilight, this shade right here. And we're going to put it on our finger. I don't like to do topper shades with a brush. And we're going to go all over the lid. As you can tell, it gives you that iridescent kind of look, purpley with pink. It totally changes like that metallic color. So we're pretty much done with that. We are just going to do the outer corner and we'll be done with the eyes. So I am going to take this shade right here. It's called OUD and we are going to pop it on the outer corner. And I like it because it's like this red brick shade, but like really, really dark red. And so it like goes with the whole purple vibe. like I feel like this shade is a good outer corner shade for like every single eyeshadow in this palette it works good now I am going to do eyeliner and I will 
we'll be right back so we can start the face. I don't like to do eyeliner on camera. So now we're gonna move on to the face and finish that where I put on a primer and the Becca First Light Priming Filter on first so I can let it sink in. And then what I do next, this is gonna sound a little crazy. It's gonna look really crazy, but I got these custom enhancer drops from Cover FX and I got this shade Halo, which is kind of like my eyes. It's an iridescent, like purpley kind of bluish tint color. And so I got this, but what I wanted, what it's just not a color that will ever look good on me as a highlight or anything. So what I've actually been doing since I noticed the Becca Backlight Filter Primer has like a purplish tint to it and how it makes me like glow and just look brighter. So I've decided to actually put these all over my face and then I put my foundation over it and I noticed my skin is so glowy every single time I do this, like so glowy. And I can use a matte, 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 like this foundation I'm gonna use is a matte foundation and you're still gonna see my glow from the matte foundation. So what I like to do is I like to take the drop and I like to put them all over my face. And it also makes my skin like so soft. It's kind of like a primer because what it does for my skin is it just makes it so soft and gives me that purple glow. So I'm gonna look crazy right now. But I tell you, it works, especially if you like the glow. And right now in the winter time for me, my skin's like drier, like a lot drier. So I've been somewhat enjoying the glow. As you can see, like, I don't know if you can see really in the camera if it shows up as much as it shows up on my face when I look in a direct mirror, I look like a freaking alien. I'm so purple. <laughs> but we're gonna cover it all up and you aren't gonna see the purple when you cover it up. You're just gonna shine right through. Now let's move on to foundation. I'm gonna use the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I read somewhere or heard someone say that the color purple is like the color of the year or something like that. Like the type of purple that everybody's gonna see, like the iridescent, like this color purple, is like the color of 2018. And like last year, I think it was like rose gold or something. And what I noticed is like a foundation always looks funky. Like I have these like weird lines on my nose. So I've been getting a flat like kabuki brush and I actually just like go in my nose really push the product in now we're gonna go in with concealer I'm gonna use the NYX studio photogenic concealer I'm like running out I had to take the little top off that's the only thing that sucks about this concealer is that it literally goes by so freaking fast what I've been doing different lately with my concealer is I do one eye and then I do the other eye. So that's what I'm going to do. And I've been loving like these little sponges. This is one of the real techniques, the little tiny sponges. It's so freaking soft. I love how soft it is. But I've been loving it to blend out my concealer because I can really get good up underneath my eye. I never thought I would have like any use for these like little mini sponges. But there's hope. I have use for it. Then because my skin's been so dry, I have not really been baking as much like before i used to just bake and put powder all over my face and just have it everywhere i've lately have just been baking underneath my eyes i still use my Too faced born this way powder so what i get is just a tiny bit and i use the little sponge so it doesn't get a lot and i just bake directly underneath my eyes And then whatever I have left on my sponge, I just kind of go in the areas where I put the concealer. And then I go in with the Bare Mineral Translucent Powder Duo. And I take, I just mix both shades because one's sparkly and one is matte. And I go over the areas where I put concealer more into depth. See, and even though I'm powdery, I'm still a bit glowy because of those custom enhancers i am going to take a bronzer which as always you should know i'm going to use the butter bronzer by physician formula i was thinking like i must have like lighter complexion skin than i think like i always think i have like darker complexion skin and like i see people like don't with like darker skin like mine don't really have 
like this bronzer doesn't work as good because it's not for dark skin but for some reason this bronzer works freaking great for me maybe it's because i don't like like a bright orange bronzer and i like just like a light wash of being bronze i think it's so much more flattering to me i don't know i could change my mind one day but as of right now that's how i feel now i am going to get the tarte clay play palette and use the contour shade terracotta in here right here and i'm going to just slightly contour my cheeks and then my nose i was watching this makeup artist and that's what she said to do she said don't put it directly in the thing put it above higher and it makes your cheekbones look higher so i just listened to her because she's a makeup artist she doesn't she knows what she's doing and i don't so I'm just doing what she says i always like always just go in like harsh on my nose like i know like on camera it may look so harsh So I do this, I go in harsh like I did with that brush. Then I get like a skinnier sideways brush and I kind of blend it in. Start a blending without anything on it. Like there's nothing on here. So even though this looks crazy, we're going to take that brush we used to put the translucent baking powder and we are going to basically dip our brush in and we're gonna go over the sides. When I used to bake, I just used to like wipe off the bake and then go over this. But since I'm not really baked as much, I don't do that. I've just been getting this powder. You don't have to use this powder. I'm not saying this powder is like the best translucent powder to use, but it's just what I have. So I'm just using what I have. Project pen. And I basically just do this. And I will even go over the contour a little bit and just kind of blend it in so it doesn't look harsh. Now we're going to go in with blush. I've been using this blush lately. It's a baked blush illuminator. It says it's an illuminator and a bronzer, but this is like pink. You can't use this as a bronzer, but it is illuminating. And I like like the color it gives off. I've really been liking illuminating blushes. Oh, this is in the shade Foreplay. Now we are going to go in with highlight. I'm going to highlight my inner corners. If you watch my video, you know I always highlight my inner corners with my highlight and then I go in with another color from the eyeshadow palette to make it really pop. So I'm going to use the Wet n Wild highlighting powder. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a pink color. It's the Mega Glow highlighting powder in Precious Petals. It's so affordable. This is a, like four dollars and it's a freaking intense gorgeous beautiful highlight okay so we're going to go back into our huda beauty palette huda beauty huda 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 thought okay so first we're going to do the same thing we did in the crease on the lower lash line. So we're going to take Eden, this pink shade. Now we're going to take Amethyst, the purple shade, right here. Okay, now I'm going to take more of a pointier brush. And I'm going to go in the outer corner with OUD right here. I'm going to go in the outer corner and reach the top. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. So now we are going to um, spray our face with setting spray. I am going to go and put eyelashes and mascara on and then I will be right back okay so while I was putting my eyelashes on I realized that I didn't do my inner corner color after my highlight so that's what we're gonna do right now so I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette again and we are gonna go with the same shade we put all over as a topper shade Twilight this one and we are gonna wet our brush I'm using a little tiny brush and we are gonna put it 
just not all over, but directly in the corner. Alright, so we're done with that. Now we are going to move on to lips. And then we'll be completely done with this. So I have two options for lipstick. Okay, so this will be lip option number one. I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath Labs Divine Nude Lipstick. This is a combo that comes with a lipstick and a lip gloss. So I'm going to show you a glossy look and I'm going to show you a matte look. This is my gloss look. I really like this combo. I think it's freaking gorgeous. And also we are going to be using the lip liner, the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Lip Liner in Trophy Wife. Now, this is how I do this look this, with this lipstick all the time. So let me show you first put on the lipstick. So before it completely dries, that's when I go in with the lip liner. And I just kind of go on the outer edges to just kind of like contour it a bit. So this is look number one. And now we're going to go in with the gloss. This is the gloss you have to use your fingers. That's the only thing that sucks. And this, these combo is like pretty expensive. So I love this lip gloss, but I hate that I have to go in with my finger. So this is lip option number two. I'm going to go in with this Milani Lip Liner. This is the color statement lip liner in nude. And then we are going to go in with one of my go-to lipsticks. I usually don't use this lipstick for a matte look, but once I did this look, with just this lipstick and I was waiting for the lipstick to dry so I can put on lip gloss and I took a picture and everybody freaking loved that look. So I'm going to do the same look. This is the Meet Matte Hughes Long, La Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Committed. Alright everyone, so that was this Valentine's Day purpley vibes look and I really love how it turned out. This is one of my absolute favorite looks to wear. I wear it all the time like when I don't know what to wear and I want to dress cute, I want to look cute, I want to make sure I look cute. I know that these colors go with with my skin tone and I know they complement my skin tone and I really love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you check out Brittany Ray's video. Please subscribe to her channel. She is so good. I love her videos. I absolutely love her. She's such a small YouTuber and I know one day she will be good because she is so good now and I love watching her channel. Every time she uploads a video, I'm always, I have my notifications on, I always watch it. She's definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. So yeah, I hope you check out her video as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit your notification bell so you can be notified every time that I upload because I will be doing some Valentine crafts next week. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time on my next video. Bye!